Hi guys, Ange here. Thanks for joining me and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to talk about all the beauty products that I covet because I love it. I know, corny, huh? <laughs> but basically it is my wish list of all the beauty items that I would love to purchase. Some of them are new releases, some of them are not. They're just products that I want to add into my makeup stash. Before we get into the video, I would like to ask if you haven't already to please click the subscribe button. I would love to see you back for more videos. And if at the end of this video you have enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button. That would truly help me. I have discovered that with YouTube it counts. So thank you in advance. Also, you may have noticed I'm back in my bedroom. After filming my video on my girly room, my makeup room, my filming setup, etc. Yes, I absolutely loved it and was really excited about it. My son has moved back home and that is far more exciting for me. So filming is going to be a little bit different because I have to set up and decamp each time I do a film but that far outweighs the fact that I'm really pleased to have my son at home. So in my bedroom it is. Also I'm playing around with different hairstyles. I'm getting my hair done next week and I'm very tempted to get um, a fringe or bangs cut so I'm trying different things. I'd love to hear in the comments below if you think a fringe would be a great idea. We call it a fringe here in New Zealand. I think it may be more commonly known in the States as having bangs. But I would really love your feedback and what you think I should do. It's a big step because I've got very fine hair and getting a um, getting a fringe cut will mean I have less hair around the outside to give myself some body but I'm very tempted to do it. Anyway guys, what's on my wish list? My wish list of things that I am definitely planning on purchasing are first off the Tarcha Primer, the new blurring Tarcha Primer. I keep hearing wonderful things about this and so because I have textured skin and have lots of open pores I definitely want to try this product out and I can get it quite readily in New Zealand. My next product is another primer that I want to restock in my stash is the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I really appreciate this primer on my skin. It is just beautiful for a mature skin. It, it makes the foundation look flawless so I'm going to restock this as I'm nearly out of my little mini sample size. And I had used up a full size in the past. Something that I may treat myself for my birthday in next month depends. It's a really pricey product, but I really enjoyed trying this out. I had quite a huge sample size, and I loved the way my skin looked with this foundation. And it is the La Prairie Foundation Concealer All-in-One. So I am very much coveting this product. It is definitely the price that's holding me back, because it is one pricey item. A palette that is on my definite wish list, it's just that I can't get the jolly thing, is the Persona Identity Palette by Persona Cosmetics. I am so wanting this palette. I hear such great reviews about it and the quality, the colours, the usefulness of this palette. Um, I can get it, well I can look for it online through the Persona website, um, Ulta sell it and it is available on Amazon as well. None of those um, websites will ship to New Zealand so I can't get my mitts on it. 
so I'm hoping at some stage I know somebody that may be going to America I'm keeping my fingers crossed that someone may be traveling there and um, hopefully I will get my hands on it soon another eyeshadow palette do I really need another eyeshadow palette guys probably not but I love makeup and another palette that I do want to try is the MAC Semi Sweet palette in the Times 9. I just really enjoy the colours that are in this palette. And I've watched the YouTuber that I like watching, Hind Dash, create some beautiful eye looks using this palette. So, of course, I want to try it out as well. A palette that I would like to get my hands on, I'm not sure how readily available that's going to be, is Smashbox and it is the Kelly Contour Face Palette. Now we do have Smashbox here in New Zealand, we have smashbox.co.nz, I have contacted them because they do um, supply Smashbox products to certain retailers here in New Zealand, but guess what? The same old thing. They're not getting this particular palette in New Zealand. So I can't find anyone that will ship to New Zealand that stocks Smashbox. So this is going to be another product that I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that I can get it from somewhere. I definitely am very excited about getting the new Fenty Eye Palette Moroccan Spice. I hummed and hard and thought, nah, I don't really need that, but the reviews that I've seen so far have been fabulous. So this is this has very much excited me, and I think I will definitely get this palette as well. Something that hasn't arrived in New Zealand, and I hope it does, is the new reformulated Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It sounds like it is a fabulous full coverage concealer that is maybe not quite as thick as the Tarte Shape Tape. And that would please me very much. I do like the coverage of the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's just a little bit thick for my mature crepey under eyes. So I am very much looking forward to trying out the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And it also comes in quite a large size bottle so that would be quite good if I could use it to touch up other areas of my face as well. Now products that are on my wish list but I'm not too sure about getting is where I want your help. I've got these items on my wish list but I would really like your help in helping me decide whether I take the plunge or not. The first palette is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Now I was definitely going to get this palette until I saw the Fenty one. And I've decided that the Fenty palette sort of got a little bit more priority. Now they do have quite similar colours in the palette, but I would like your feedback as to whether you think the Born This Way palette would be a great addition to somebody's beauty stash. Have you purchased it? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear. Another palette that I'm really on the fence with and the person who keeps tempting me with this is Mel from Puffin's Wife and it's the Tarte Aspen Ovard palette. A very neutral palette but I love neutrals, I really, really do. They're my comfort zone, they're my happy place. So I like the idea that it's also got face products in this palette as well. And I really do believe that would be a great palette that you could just have the one palette, everything in it. But I'm on the fence, is it too neutral? Have you got it? If you have, what are your thoughts? Would love to hear from you. Another palette that I'm very, very tempted with, and it's been sitting in my shopping cart for a wee while on Beauty Bay, and that is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. This got some very, very good reviews, but I think the more and more that I look at, say, the Fenty Palette or the Born This Way Palette, maybe I don't need the Latte Palette, so I'm thinking of taking it out of my shopping cart. But once again, 
would love to hear from you guys. What do you think? And last but not least, it is something that I have thought of for many times over the years, and they are the melt stacks. I'm very, very tempted with the melt stacks, and there are three that I'm really tempted with, and that's Party Girl, the Rust Stack, and Dark Matter. I like the fact that even though I could get all three of those, I can combine them into one large stack, and... Um, I can mix and match them up however I want. I've heard great things about the quality, um, but I'm just I'm just not sure. They are a pricey item, and also it was is going to cost me to ship them here in New Zealand. But yay, at least it's a website that will ship to New Zealand. So if you've tried the melt stacks, I'd be really really interested in hearing your thoughts of what you think. So guys, that is my, my, I love it, so I covered it. So I would love to hear your thoughts on the products that I am having trouble making up my mind with. Also, if you've got some comments on what I am really thinking or definitely wanting to purchase, I'd love to hear what you have to say about that as well. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. I also have a list of stuff that I'm definitely not going to purchase, but rather than have a very long video here, I'm going to do a separate video for that. But I am going to post it tomorrow and get it out of the way rather than um, have it as one of my regular two videos a week system. Thanks for joining me, guys. I can see I'm going to be needing to save my Deliros because it's quite a list of wants and they are wants because it is just makeup. I'd love to hear from you. What's on your wish list? Maybe there's something I have totally omitted because I haven't really given it much thought. Would love to hear from you guys. As I said earlier in the video, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back on my channel. I upload two videos a week and I'd love to see you back. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later. Bye.